How do you challenge each other both as musicians? Um, good question. I think Tom, Tom's a much better musician than me. So that he, he challenged, he put, I, I have become a better musician because I've had to like keep up with Tom, you know, <laughs> he's like, he grew up like, he's such a good guitar player and he's a great piano player. And like, I very much from early on, like wanted, I, I'm good at a lot of things, master of none. You know, I focused, I was like, okay, I'll figure out how to play music. And then I concentrated more on production at one point and my musical skills definitely took a back seat. But when Tom and I started working together and playing live, he had come from like doing the club circuits and like playing shows, like, you know, tons of shows and was like, and so I really had to get my chops up and Tom really helped with that and pushed me. And so he's really, and still to this day, you know, like I'm not a great, I'm not an, an amazing musician in terms of like, I'm not the greatest piano player. I, I do it because it's, it's a necessity, but Tom really, you know, pushes me to get better. And, and, and without his guidance, I definitely wouldn't be as good as I am now. Oh, that's nice, dude. <laughs> um, I think uh, I think it's from my perspective. Um, how do we challenge each other as musicians? I mean, I think it's just like we're both. The, I guess Jimmy approached that question more from like the the like playing musical instruments thing, but I see being a musician is sort of a more rounded thing. And I think that being a musician is, can encompass like being a producer and it's more like being a, per, a creative person in music. So I think like Jimmy, Jimmy's challenged me a lot. Like Jimmy just has a different approach than me, you know, like everybody's got their own voice and like Jimmy will come up with shit like that I would never even think of. And it's like, that is what like i could there's no way that i could ever write a piano line exactly the way jimmy does because he's got like his own approach and like that just alone challenges me um and so i think like that's the that's the thing that's exciting about our collaboration is that i find personally jimmy's musical outlook very exciting and like it like it, it um especially from a writing perspective like or a, or a I feel like I feel like if if I have say that I have four chords or like a sound I'm playing with or something uh just Jimmy's like take of that makes like opens like five doors for me about like where it could go you know and it without his without his take of it like literally he could play the same part on a piano that that I had just played or vice or on a guitar or something and just him hear, hearing his, the way he does it makes me see something about it that I hadn't seen before. So I think that that's the way that, that's kind of like the main way that we challenge each other as musicians. I think like that's, we've, we've, we're lucky that our, the way that we see and hear stuff just sort of like complements the other really well. And like, and it, um, it, it allows us to see and hear the music in, in, in a new way that actually helps us contribute more to the, to it, you know? That's how I feel about it anyways. Mm. I think also there's, you know, the fact that like touring when you're doing it by yourself can be incredibly isolating and you can lose that motivation. But when somebody's there and you're, and you know, you've got to do it together and one of you's got, you know, it's kind of keeps you both um, on your toes, maybe a little bit more than, if you're doing it completely in isolation. Listen to more insights on the Mission Makers podcast through Apple, Spotify and YouTube.